Troops of the Nigeria Army, in cooperation with sister security agency, have raided and destroyed the Supreme Headquarters of the Outlaw Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, at Mother Valley, Osu, Kansu area of Imo. The first commander, Joint Stack Southeast, Operation Udoka, Major General, Hassan Dada, disclosed it while addressing newsmen at Eke Otutu, Osu, local government area of Imo on Friday. Operation Udoka involves troops of the Nigeria Army, Army, Navy, Air Force, as well as personnel of the Nigeria Police Force, Department of State Service, and the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps. The commander said that the troop cleared and liberated Yihite Ukwa, Eke Otutu, as well as Osumogu. He said that the headquarters which serve as the last IPOP stronghold is located in the Mother Valley and spans the Osu and Hiala local government areas of Imo and Anambra, respectively. So the quantum of the problem and you know with what we've achieved we can only do much more to make sure everywhere is safe in the whole of the southeast nigeria i have no doubt what you went through assessing the mother valley yesterday i was completely in touch and on these notes i want to thank each and every one of you uh the commissioner of police uh, we are very appreciative. The Department of Tesco Service, the director, all this intelligence you've been giving us, we are very, very grateful. The Nigerian Security and Civil Defense that also took part, we actually appreciate you. Of course, all the component commanders from the air, the maritime, and of course, the land components, we are actually very, very grateful. Please. We also want to particularly thank all India Nambra and Indi Imo. If we don't have the cooperation of the populace, there is no way we can achieve this. And I want to use this opportunity to also call on all community leaders that it is their responsibility. They don't allow foreigners to come and desecrate their lands. They should take the responsibility. The Igbo culture is very strong. You have a way of ensuring that security is maintained in the land. We will continue to support everybody because nobody has the right to say another man in this our Nigeria today should not go out at a particular time or whenever it feels like. That I commended the Imo and Anambra people for their cooperation with security agencies while requesting that they report any strange faces in their community to Operation Udoha by dialing their emergency line 193 and pressing option 2 from their mobile phones. He enjoyed the leader of all liberated communities to return to their ancestral homes and deploy community efforts to ensure that all criminal elements who are not from the communities are not allowed to return to desecrate their homelands. You can see we have our own people have started coming back. So our immediate uh, uh, objective or mission now is to ensure that uh, these people know about their social and economic activities as soon as possible. He thanked Governor Hope Uzodima of Imbo and Chief of Defense Staff General Christopher Musa and the Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Lagbaja for their support, advice, and guidance throughout the operation. He assured that the troops will continue to provide all security support to affected communities within the ambit of the law. Regina Ojama reporting for BTV News.